welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers. Merry Christmas and yes, I do have an elf hat on. I do. And I'm tinkling like a little fairy. Um, but this is your Christmas one. So we're going to be doing Are They Crackers About You? So with crack, I don't know about other countries, but in England we, <laughs> we say someone's crackers as in it's driving them crazy. Crackers means crazy in England. So um, it's basically Are They Crazy About You? But with a Christmas theme, we're going with crackers. So first of all, from me and the guides, I want to wish you all a very, very happy Merry Christmas from England or happy holidays. Um, England we always say Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas um, and I hope Santa's really good to you all. So we're going to go with some nice light-hearted decks um, for this one. We're going to do deck number... <laughs> we were, we are. If I can stop tinkling I'm gonna have to try to keep my hands dead still so you don't get tinkles all over the um, video. Deck number one and deck number two in my little elf hat. Pick a deck. Are they crackers about you? Think about you, think about your person. This time go with the overall energy that your body is pulling towards you. Number one, number two, are they crackers about you? Three, two, one, ding. Okay, can you get me into my collective energy of deck number one, please? I'm sure this was number one. I'm sure this was number one. Deck number one's collective energy. If it wasn't number one, you'll have to just switch them round. <laughs> Sorry guys. Deck number one. Are they crackers? And think about your person. Can you get me into their collector's energy of their people, please? Can we get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And as always, it's going to pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. Circumstances are irrelevant because it's working on energy. Right, can you tell me please, are those that pick deck number one, is their person crackers about them? Is their person crackers about them? I might take that bracelet off in a second. You never hear me. Sounds like Santa's reindeer, doesn't it? Are they crackers about the people watching? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's do eight, seven, all right, eight, all right, okay, nine, ten. I was going to do eight, the cards have said ten, okay, so yeah, the overall answer is yeah, they are crackers about you. Um, what's happening at this point in time, again, regardless of your individual circumstances and situation, your person is clinging on to high hope that you and them can be in some form of relationship, regardless of your individual circumstances. Four of Pentacles, clinging on to the energy, clinging on to the situation, keeping their cards close to their chest I'm hearing, but also moving uh, the situation forward. A lot of them are just going with the flow of it. Um, some of them are feeling quite idiots because the energy between the two of you, they've never really felt this way about anyone, so they're not entirely sure what they're doing. So they are just going with the flow of it rather than thinking, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. They decided to just go with the flow of the energy, see what happens. And they're feeling a bit idiots because they're like, you're in my thoughts, you're in my head, I can't get you out, why is this happening, it's never happened before. That's going through that energy, so yeah, the overall answer is yeah, they are crackers about you. You've also got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, they love you. So this kind of goes with this energy, uh, these two over here, holding on, holding on to hope, What, regardless of your individual circumstances, going with the flow of it, feeling a bit like, oh my god, I've never felt like this before, love heart centered energy you also have quite a bit of passionate energy going on with the nine no yeah ace of wands you have passionate energy here you also have the magician um, so they are wanting a uh, passionate new beginning with you. The magician with this, my guide is kind of stepping forward for the kind of power you have over them. Just her poison, uh, lips are venomous, Alice Cooper, poison. Um, so you are their kryptonite in the words of Superman. 
I just take grips tonight. Um, you have this power over them, so yeah, you are you're driving them a little bit crazy. They have got a number of choices that they need to make. At the moment, it might feel as if nothing is happening within your individual circumstances. Um, they are feeling a little bit trapped. You're feeling as if you're standing still. There are choices and decisions that have got to be made over this situation. Um, and once they've done that, you've got the nine of pentacles and the chariot for yeah, movement, things moving forward, long-term objectives, abundance. Once they work out these choices, once they work out these decisions, which they will do, if you give them time, you have your overall outcome of movement, of things moving forward, regardless of your individual circumstances. So the overall answer is yes, you are driving on completely bonkers, let alone crackers. Um, there is a lot of heart-centred energy. The heart-centred energy is taking over the um, sexual energy within this deck and they are just absolutely overwhelmed with the energy that you have and they have. Your spiritual connection, they've never felt like this before and it, they completely don't understand it. So even if they have withdrawn from the situation it's irrelevant because it's still the same energy it's still trying to put a place around it it's just still trying to get it still trying to understand it um and going with the flow but you have this kind of control over and this poison it's not really poison but that's the song um you are their kryptonite so you're driving them completely crackers completely bonkers and a little bit up the wall as well and that's step number one how quick was that I love it when we get nice readings like that, when it's um, super fast and they're like, yeah, it's all really good. I love that. Um, so deck number one, if you want to book a private reading, um, I don't know if you can watch deck number two as well, but if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I'm fully booked through December. Um, that includes the new year and turnaround for readings is on about uh, seven to ten days for January at this point in time. So just be aware of that when you book, I'll let you know what the turnaround time it is. Right, let's do deck number two, 642. Can you get me into my collective energy of deck number two, please? So are you driving them crackers um, up the wall, bonkers? Are you the brandy on the Christmas pudding? Are you... Um, I've got, do they know it's Christmas time at all, coming into my uh, ears, ears, <laughs> my right ear, um, here in my ear. That was a translation error, it's so crazy how it slips like that. Um, do they know it's Christmas time at all? So that would suggest that your person is in a bit of a dark place at the moment. Okay, can you get me into their thoughts, the people's energy, their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Get number two. Okay, so it's again pulling out the stronger, strongest mutual energy. Are the people watching? Are there people driving them crackers? <laughs> you got victory first of all, so that's a yes. Let's keep going. Are they driving them crackers? I want to do 10 again. We did 10 for deck number one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. So your strongest mutual energy on this, um, I know some of you will have watched the other readings, your person is having this wake up call, this tower moment has kind of hit them. I've got two eight of swords, but they're different cards. I have never noticed that. Eight, eight, have we got another eight? Eight, 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 eight. We'll just use one of these, I'll get another card, but I never knew there were two eight of, eight of swords in this deck. If anyone else has this deck, can you shout and see if you've got two eight of swords? I've used this deck for about two months now. <laughs> eight, eight, eight. Let's get one more, we have one more, please. <laughs> Thanks. So, regardless of your individual circumstances, your person is having this wake-up call with the tower. Um, some of them have walked away from the situation, some of them are feeling trapped by the situation, some of you it's a bit of both. Some of you, you watching, are feeling like things aren't moving forward, you're getting really fed up, you're getting frustrated. Some of you are coming forward as third parties, some of you are coming forward as feeling isolated and alone. Regardless of your individual circumstances, you're all feeling a little bit low um, and some of you are dreading Christmas, which 
which is why they're saying do they know it's do you know it's Christmas time at all however what is going to be happening is you have got victory so if they are you driving them crackers they are having this wake-up call um, with the tower hitting some again your individual circumstances are all different but what is coming to the forefront is that they really need to sort things out and work out what they want they're feeling seeing the truth of the situation they're seeing how they are feeling about it their heart-centered energy is pulling them towards you um, and it's coming really quickly it there is quick movement it's gonna feel like nothing is happening and then this movement is going to come forward now a lot of them are I hate the word obsessing but obsessing is kind of coming to the forefront of um, my clever audience forefront is then it came really quickly and um, so it's gonna feel like nothing's happening and then they're gonna move it forward but they are having this energy pull towards you and they are obsessing over over you they're thinking it all through um, they're trying to be moving situations forward whatever individual circumstances they are but you the pull back towards you is getting really really strong so they're feeling really isolated feeling alone and gathering strength their emotions are everywhere you guys are echoing and mirroring that energy um, so if your person is driving you crackers or if you are crackers about your person then you are echoing that energy so that is an overall yes they're trying to feel more stable trying to feel more secure um once this happens this movement of the knight of swords will come in quick action coming in sweeping you off your feet um some of you will get a knight in shining armor some of you will get a twat in tin foil as i say sorry guys i know you don't some of you don't like me swearing i swear like kind of thing i would say knight in, knight in tin foil no knight in shining armor or twat in tin foil <laughs> um victory celebration once the security stability kind of comes through so you are in their thoughts they are in a darker place they are having this tower movement over christmas a lot of them are dreading getting through the christmas period because they're feeling isolated and alone and you will be echoing that energy but just keep your faith keep hope have a wonderful christmas um know that there will be movement back towards you come the new year things will be shifting even if you can't see it um, you will be able to feel it so make sure you're paying attention to your intuition and your natural instinct 888 is important to this deck Re remember that when um, I spoke about numbers in the last reading you can have a look at what it means online but it's always best to think about what you were thinking when you saw that number and then write it down so you can see what the universe is individually trying to tell you um 888 to me is normally when things are shifting and it doesn't feel to me like anything is really happening but things are shifting um slow movement kind of a pentacles night of pentacles energy um so wake up calls are happening with deck number two and that is putting them in a darker place but the movement is coming keep strong strength keep strong it's shifting, it is shifting in your victory and your three of cups, your celebration and your victory. Yeah, you're driving them mad, but they're just in a dark place and they're trying to work it all out. So, yeah, crackers, yes. Uh, thinking about you a lot, yes. Worrying about what to do, yes. Um, obsessing in their thoughts, yes. Um, feeling about you, yes. Dreaming about you, yes. Thinking about you all the time, yes. Um, missing you. If you're not in contact yes all of that so yeah you drive you know crackers is probably an understatement for you a lot as well <laughs> and that's step number two so if you want to book a private reading email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com i'm wishing you all a fabulous christmas from me and my guides um i'll get a video out for the new year for you probably new year's eve um and that's it um, my guide is just giving you a message individually from the spirit world. They're saying that, oh, this, this might go a little bit biblical on you. They're saying about this time that Christmas is celebrated as the birth of Jesus and I'm here in a way in a manger. So even throughout it all, remember that when um, Mary and Joseph had nothing, they were brought, their, their baby came to this world and their whole lives were suddenly shifted into this beautiful energy. Even though he didn't, Jesus didn't start working until he was in his 30s. Um, he started his life path, of, I think my guide said about 33 
so I'm, I'm a year up on him but he um they're saying that even through times of adversities adversity when you feel you have nothing when they were having um in the stable or the equivalent the actual facts of it i went to israel last year um where he was meant to be born it, it's all this this massive church now um but you will know fables get twisted but my guide is saying with that them saying born in a stable you can have nothing but still be wealthy remember that um and they're also saying remember you were guarded by angels messengers over christmas messages will come in um from your spirit world from your loved ones from your helpers and from your guides messages of tidings joy and 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 heavenly blessings from all those on our side we wish you a merry christmas from them to you have a wonderful time guys speak to you soon lots of love bye